Described by the U.S. Secret Service as one of the world's most prolific traffickers of stolen information, Roman Seleznev is accused of devising a scheme to defraud various financial institutions, such as Chase Bank, Capital One, and Citibank. Seleznev was indicted three years ago in Washington state for his alleged involvement in what is described as a multi-million global credit card scam operation. In 2011, he was indicted on several charges including multiple counts of bank fraud and aggravated identity theft. His father is a Russian politician who says he intends to take all steps to protect his son's lawful interests. DOC officials confirm Seleznev was visited by a Russian consul from California on Monday. We've also confirmed that a second visit took place this afternoon. As you can see here, the two delegates from the Russian consul were leaving the Hagatnya lockup, and while their visit lasted almost an hour, they would not give any details about what transpired. We will not give any no. DOC Director Jose San Augustine also provided limited information about the visits. We're just a holding tank. Uh, we hold this individual. Uh, we take him where the marshals want us to take him. Uh, and ba basically, uh, we just comply with what uh, their desires are. According to an online article in Russia Beyond the Headlines, however, they report that Seleznev is being held in a damp cell, forced to lay on concrete floors with no blanket, and wasn't provided any essential hygienic items. San Augustine denies such allegations, adding that all cells come complete with bunks and sheets. Meanwhile, Seleznev's father is quoted in an article as saying this was a way to force his son to make a confession about something he was not involved in. Seleznev is scheduled to appear at federal court next week. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.